Team of the season, make sure to use Dirty at checkout 15% off. Even coinzone.com, the links are in the description. And wait, if you want them codes, G2A's got the hookup, they got the games as well. Dirty is always gonna hook it up. Let's roll! What's happening, my beautiful people? Oh, today we've got something special. We're doing a compare and contrast between Pez, Pro Evolution Soccer, and FIFA. I'm going to let you know what you should look forward to. And we're going to go into the three Gs. Gameplay, graphics, and game modes. These are usually the three deciders. There's a bit of an it factor. Firstly, I need to get something off my chest. And if you enjoy the content, make sure to drop that thumbs up. Get in the comments about Pez. Get in the comments about FIFA. If you don't play these titles, how can you make a compare and contrast video? I have bought Pez for the last eight years. I have bought FIFA for the last, what are we looking like, 12 years? I started playing FIFA in 2004 and I bought every single title since then. I am a credible source. I've been creating content. I've been on Reddit. I'm all over those forums. I'm networking. I'm making videos left, right, and center, tutorials, tips. I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. I just hate seeing videos where people have no idea what they're talking about because they don't play the titles. If you've never played Pez, how can you talk about what you can look forward to, the negatives and the positives? How can you compare from last year's version of the game, Pro Evolution Soccer, to this year's potential title? It's not possible. So quit bullshitting on YouTube, my friends. Just compare two titles that you've actually gotten involved with and leave this up to the guys that really enjoy football, the realists, people that play the game year in and year out. And if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, but we're gonna know. We're gonna know. I'm just getting started. We're getting heated up today. Woo! Let's calm down for a second. I've enjoyed both trailers. EA, getting some hype with that Alex Hunter announcement. Man, a lot of feedback on YouTube video, after YouTube video, after YouTube video. And Pez, they're trying to stay quiet. They don't want to talk too much about different things, but I liked their trailer. It made me feel that it's going to be the ultimate simulation. Let's get into the triple G, triple OG. I want to keep this short and concise, and we're going to start with graphics. Pro Evolution Soccer, they look better. I like what I've seen from the screenshots. The trailer looks good. Looks improved from last year's installment. However, are you going to beat FIFA? I don't think so. They've got a wild card this year. When they added the Frostbite engine, I knew the cinematics, they're going to be on point. They're going to be premium quality. And that's why you're seeing the Alex Hunter, the Journey game mode. When you walk into a stadium, you're going to feel that. Mm -hmm. And the screenshots, they've shown and proved. I just believe that EA is going to take this. I'm not saying that Pez didn't do good. In fact, they might even beat EA in the gameplay department, but I'm not going to go against Frostbite. I'm just not. And I think they're going to live up to the hype. I believe in Frostbite. I like Battlefield. We'll find out together. But I'm going to lean towards FIFA in terms of graphics, even though I don't believe that Frostbite is going to apply as much as people may think or might be predicting in terms of the gameplay element. Uh, graphic wise. I think it's more for the cutscenes, more for the cinematics, more for the journey. It was necessary for them to build out that game mode in my humble opinion. Woo! Now we're talking about gameplay and this is what I care about. Every year, if I'm gonna have longevity with a title, it's gonna come down to that gameplay. So let's talk about it. Pro Evolution Sock! They typically aim for more of a simulation feel and I like that. If you're someone who plays football or soccer, you get involved heavily, that's something that you enjoy, that you take part in. There's been many moments over the years where I feel the realism in Pez titles. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean it's not flawed or it's not a little bit funky sometimes or when you're trying to put everything together on the controller, you're like, whoa, it doesn't feel that organic. But I like what they're doing with the game. Many of us are guilty, including myself at times. We come over from FIFA, we're gonna play Pro Evo and we're looking for FIFA 2.0. We want to play something like FIFA that just has the improvements that FIFA's been slacking. And that's not what you're going to get. It's a totally different game, and you're going to know that from the jump, right when you load up, first kickoff. However, one concern is they want to slow down the game. And slowing down the game 
and though it's realistic, it does not always turn out to be a good improvement when I've played footy titles. If it gets too slow, we're not going to see a lot of goals. Typically, Pez has a better skill gap, which is worth mentioning in my opinion, uh, at least in the last couple of years. EA's really been killing me with the BS bounce backs and how easy they're trying to make everything. We got contain, uncontain, uncontain. With all that being said, I'm not here to hate on EA. I still play their title much more than I play Pez every single year. But with gameplay, it's such a debatable. I know that Pez is down to take risk because they're the underdog uh, when going against EA and FIFA. And with that being said, we don't know what the f we're going to get with EA because... They drop patch on patch on patch as we go finger punching heavy right now. What's the burnt chip slogan? Finger blasting, finger blasting right now with EA. EA is going to launch a title and within that first month we're going to have a patch the game's going to change and we're going to keep that on repeat. They made an announcement at E3. They talked about how they want to have so many different updates throughout all their titles. That's alarming to me. I don't know what the hell I'm going to be playing. If I invest let's say 40 hours a week, a full-time job in FIFA for the first couple of months. I want to be better than the people that are just picking up the game. And that's where EA and gameplay and some of the tactical choices they've made has just made it too easy for people that are rookies, people that are noobs, people that don't even understand how to do a skill move or the true function of teammate contain, how to trap, how to build out of a triangle. And that's where Pez could steal some people that enjoy that authenticity even if it's a little bit slower i get excited more when i score goals on pez from time to time and it's not because i don't have any experience on pro evo it's just that i don't see the exact same goal on repeat welcome to game modes pez has some licensing issues they didn't drop enough roster updates uh, last year. I enjoy my club, but it's just like ultimate team and I'd rather play FUT than my club. With that being said, the Master League, even with lack of licensing, is a much better experience in my opinion compared to the normal career mode that EA offers. And this is all due to the AI being smart. Whatever algorithm that Konami has came up with, it's brilliant. Even in the very old Pez titles, I remember that their AI was able to adapt to your play a little bit. You weren't going to score the same near post finish 10 out of 10. No, the goalkeeper starts cheating one way or the other. And when I've seen interviews and conferences, they've made a larger focal point on really improving this aspect and just... Off that, I am looking forward to the Master League more so than Career Mode, especially since EA added a new game mode. And this is something also worth mentioning. Pez hasn't made an announcement about any new game modes. I'm not sure if they got something in their back pocket and they're ready to pull out the ace of hearts, right? Oh, bam! We got some good stuff! Or if they're actually losing right now in terms of new game modes because EA dropped a bomb with that Alex Hunter. I'm excited for the journey. It will be the first... Yep, the first thing that I get involved with, with FIFA 17. I want to try it out. I want to play through the story. You got me. You got me. You sold me on it. And I don't know if Pez has something that's going to top that. I'm not sure I'm a believer. I've also heard rumors through the rumor mill about pro clubs having improvements. If I am a content consumer of FIFA, that's great. I've always laughed the most, smiled the most while playing pro clubs, and it's been a long time coming in terms of any improvements. And you know that EA is going to give you something special with FIFA Ultimate Team. That's their bread and butter. That's their money maker. That's how they pay the bills. They keep the lights on. And this year will be no different. I love the draft. I think that changed the game for them. It would be nice if it was a tad bit cheaper. A tad bit cheaper. But I'm not going to complain about the draft. I'd also like it if we had variety. Maybe some bronze and silver players. They're getting underused now. Maybe we could have a bronze or a silver draft. But I'm expecting a big announcement with FUT from EA. I think head-to-head -head is going down the drain. Unfortunately, it's a game mode I grew up on, but they got to figure out a way to spark it. I'm still edging the overall experience to EA. I just think they're going to have more. But I'm definitely going to pick up both titles so I can give you guys even more depth. Uh, hopefully, this helps give you a little more of some insider trading, what to expect. I've seen how both companies have moved over the past few years. 
And I will say this, Pez has came a long way for online play. If you guys go back to a throwback Thursday, Pez used to struggle, oh my, they used to struggle big time with having servers that were dedicated enough where you could enjoy the game. It reminded me when I first played on the Wii. You ever try a Wi-Fi match on the Wii? You don't want to. But if you enjoyed the content, please drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Uh, I want to hear your feedback down below in the comments. Get with me on social media. Let's argue about some stuff. I like good points, but I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.